Welcome back, everyone, to Ladder Up in the Dark, where we're still using the same team as before, trying to get back into the 1600s, and I'm thinking about a new team. Um, I'm kind of thinking about using something besides Mega Salamence, although I do love Mega Salamence. It has a very special place in my heart, just because from using it so much in, in 2015. Uh, let's change the music. Uh, I, and of course I like Sylveon, but uh, just... I just, I, I need something else, you know, sometimes just doing what works isn't good, you know, you got to do what you need, what you want, and I want to play something different, as we're having trouble finding an opponent, and I don't know why. Also, I'm realizing more and more with this, the lights in the dark, how big these headphones are, oh my goodness, I look like a robot, a robot, okay. What is going on with this team? Okay, so I see no fake out. I see really no reason not to just lead Salamence Sylveon here. Yeah, I haven't seen a reason not to do that. Because uh, that's just good. Tyranitar could be good here. Heatran's good here. Heatran's very good here. So the question is, Conkeldurr or Tyranitar? I think Tyranitar is the better option. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just going to lock in with that. Lock in, lock in with that though. So, we got rocks 182. Does he blink? Does he blink 182? Does he rocks to blink? I don't know. What am I saying? I have no idea. It is late. Why am I doing this? So, Dragonite Garchomp come out. Alright, shinies. Yay, it's, it's all shinies on the field right now. Woo! Why do they give the dragons, like, ugly shinies? Like, well, Garchomp's really not that different. The Mega Garchomp turns pink, which is interesting, you know, very interesting. But for some reason, uh, Salamence and Dragonite just turn these ugly shades of green. I don't get it at all. So what to do? What to do? Especially when like Dratini, I think it's the shiny is pink, which is awesome. Uh, here I kind of just want to protect Hyper Voice, honestly. Um, protect Hyper Voice. I don't, I don't think anything he can do can knock out Sylveon. And the next turn I can just round. I can round both. Yeah, he'd probably, he's probably tempted to, like, um, Dragon Claw in, with one of them into Salamence. I mean, unless he got, like, a Rock Slide flinch here which, with Garchomp, which would be horribly annoying. And I'm fine with him Dragon Dancing, because I'll still outspeed. It's one of those kinds of games today, isn't it? Okay. 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 Why am I worried? Why, why am I worried? Wow. S okay, so actually, multi-scale Dragonite took a, a critical hit Hyper Voice. That's... But guys, watch out for the Stealth Rock. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta be careful with that Stealth Rock, because they're very stealthy. Very little sneaky pebbles come up and just boop, get you when you're not looking. It's like, oh, hey... Hey, how's it going? Oh, person I haven't seen in a while. Boop, Stealth Rock. Gotcha. Can't, can't be talking to people you haven't seen in a while. Stealth Rock will come get you. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm very tired. Alright, so... Boots, gif, boots, gif, beep. Um, we'll just Hyper Voice there. Just Hyper Voice. And then we will Shadow Bell. Shadow Bell. You've got to use the Shadow Bell. Okay, so Gengar takes a metric poop ton of damage. <laughs> Dragonite just can't stop getting crit. Oh my god. Uh, substitute. Okay, so this is this person, I'm getting the feeling, doesn't have really any experience with doubles in general. Because they're bringing a lot of singles stuff. Like, you don't really ever see Dragonite in doubles, and Stealth Rock you almost never see in, in doubles. Shiny Venusaur. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna hyper voice the crap out of this thing. Just hyper voice everything. But thankfully, it's Mega Venusaur, so it'll take this hyper voice slightly better. I, I'm guessing it's gonna take this with like 10, 20% left. Nope, just knocks it out. Okay. Well then, that was interesting. I think we'll do another one. Definitely. That I can't. I can't let that. That can't be the one. Getting a text message from 
someone. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so like to see the last as your battle video? No. Yeah, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one. Um Continue battling! Okay, the cool thing about this is just that like I love Salamence and Sylveon, but you know, I'm getting kind of bored of it. I actually kind of maybe possibly want to do a little bit of singles battle spot. Just like on the side. Not not as like the main focus of the channel, but just on the side here and there. Maybe like maybe I'll do like a I'll have like like a Saturday Sunday episode for singles battle spot cuz I mean that's it's kind of fun. You know, I I played it every once in a while. I used to play it all the time. Before I got into VGC, I played singles and I like to think I was decent at it and uh yeah, I mean it's fun, you know. It's 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 a whole entirely different mindset, which should be illustrated by that last battle we just had. Okay, actually I don't know what the Grovile does. I mean, Talonflame, Age of Slash, Gyarados, Mawile are all pretty self-explanatory. Um, Malamar is actually kind of a problem. Not really, actually. No, it's not. Because uh, I have Sylveon, so it's not even that big of a deal. Uh, uh, the Grovile. I don't know what it does, but uh, Salmon Sylveon. Good lead here. Good lead or the best lead? I don't know. Kind of want to bring... Okay, it's a question of Conkledur or Heatran. I think Conkledur is... It's a brave Conkledur, so it can underspeed all Aegislash and hit them... Like So when the Aegislash attack, you can hit them in blade form with payback. And it's like an Oko pretty much all the time. And um, unless you're intimidated, obviously. Uh, but Heatran is better against the Mawile... And the Talon Flame and the Age of Slash. Uh, whereas Conkleder is kind of good against the Age of Slash. Decent against the Malamar because they've got Psycho Cut, which is, does a lot of damage. But not great against the Mawile or the Talon Flame. So I think he trans the better call here. Yeah, I think he trans the better call. You notice I'm not really bringing Cresselia that much. I'm not really depending a whole lot on speed control, which. Actually, if he just went, like, Talonflame and set up Tailwind right away, I'd kind of have to play defensively for a couple turns to stall it out. But he goes Gyarados Mawile. So, double Intimidate. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, so... All right, everyone's got Intimidate. I'm just thinking here to myself. Uh, I think switch out Salamence into Heatran. Protect Sylveon. Uh, not Mega Evolve Salamence so we can get the Intimidate again. And then we'll be in a decent position. We'll probably outspeed the Gyarados. I mean, if this man's... A, a, he, could, he could be trying to Thunder Wave with... Gyarados into the Salamence slot, which would not be good, because then he could, like, waterfall us, and it'd be bad. But if he tries to play rough uh, the Salamence slot, we're good. He might just be Iron Heading into Sylveon, which I'm, I'm fine with either of those. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh, come on. With this nonsense. Yeah, into the Salamence slot. Okay, that does 18 damage. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to get Salamence back in here. Cycle Intimidate. Um, this is kind of predictable, but now now the Mawile's not as big of a threat, and the Gyarados is back to plus, it's back to neutral attack. The, the Mawile's at, oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. The, the Gyarados is at minus one. The Mawile's at minus two. Iron Head into Salamence. Okay, cool. That's a crit. I would have done like five damage if that wasn't a crit. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. That really sucks. Because, I mean, we, we, we played that pretty well. I mean, I know switching in gives you the opportunity to, get, to be crit, but that's really stupid. That's really dumb. Okay, uh, well, here we go. Just gonna... Rock slide will save me. Rock slide. Save me, rock slide. Crit, crit everything. Crit, critty, crit, crit, crit. Flinch, flinch. That's not, that's not, I won't do it too much. Yeah, we, we, we live in. If we hit the heat wave, we do, thankfully. Get out of here, Mawile. That nonsense. And, oddly enough, our Tyranitar still outspeeds the, the Gyarados. Even after plus one. So, I don't know what that's all about. But here, the new plan is to rock slide, heat wave everything. Because now I'm mad, and now I'm playing mad. I don't know. Something about that critical hit just, like, really <laughs> makes me so angry. Normally, I don't mind critical hits that much, but, like, I don't know. I thought it was good. Talonflame. Okay, yeah, we're fine with this. Fine with this. Um, he could uh, protect Tailwind, which would be okay. As long as I hit something, we're fine here. Because I still got Sylveon in the back. And the other things he had... What? What? Why would you do that? That was dumb. That was kind of really dumb. There's no reason for that. I don't... I, I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not complaining, but... Yeah, that was... Very peculiar. That To say the least. Very peculiar. Uh, I get the feeling he's probably just going to disconnect now. Kind of feels like he's just going to disconnect. Oh no, he sends out Aegislash. Slash. Cool. Okay, so... Ah! 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 Um... Okay, I'm locked into Rock Slide, which is good. I mean, I could, if I had Crunch, you know, I could always attack into it, but then he could just uh, do the whole King Shield thing, and uh, the Rock Slide, we won't, we won't have that happen to us. So we, we have the flinch chance here, and then we hit, oh, it's Akaberry, okay, it's weird. Uh... It's going to take it, but it can't knock us both out. So now I just Earth Power the next turn with Heatran and... Or whoever he goes after. He really can't take out Heatran. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, no, he can't. Sacred Sword. Okay, I think we ran into another person that uh, maybe... Uh, maybe uh, I mean, I, okay. Let me say this. It's Sacred Sword is definitely unconventional. It's not without its use. It's a decent... Kangaskhan, check, whatever you want to call it. But Aegis Slash doesn't have... It's too pass... It, I don't want to say it's too passive, but it doesn't really have the ability to be intimidated and work around it. It's, it's much better as a special attacker, in my personal opinion. Okay, so here, uh, we're going to find out... We're going to find out what this guy's made of. He, yeah, he don't care. That's okay. We take that. We take that all day. Akaberry, that's weird. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Because you just get knocked out by that. Boom. All right, so that's two wins. Woohoo! Against some weird, some weird shenanigans. Some weird shenanigans. Oh, well. So, good game to you, August. And I don't remember the other guy's name. Was it Rocks182 or whatever? Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff today on Ladder Up. Um... So maybe we can climb a little bit higher and see some more competitive stuff. Because when we lose, we learn. That's the important thing. Ow. So when you lose, you learn. When you win, you I don't know, go have a pizza or something. But when you lose, you learn. That's the most important thing. So that's going to be it today, guys, for Ladder Up. I keep dropping my phone. If you like it, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps out the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you back for another episode of Ladder Up.